So you've kind of gone through a lot of what humanity is about to go through. Mm -hmm. Any pointers? <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> That's a, a really big question. <laughs> well, here's what comes in. Um, so I feel very blessed that I already had journaling as a tool before I walked into that. So that would be the number one system that brought me back to myself whenever I was extremely lost, whenever I was disconnected from my own self and, and who I am in the, in the tiniest pockets of light. And um, what I would do is I would, it feels like how I would reference it right now is I would use journaling and especially question prompts as a system to apply to talk directly to my inner child. And when I would talk directly to my inner child, my, my inner child had a reason to belong like with me. And yeah. when my inner child had a reason to belong with me, then I had a reason to connect with God. And when I had a reason to connect with God, then I had a reason to be an example. And that that would be the tool that supported me all throughout my journey. Awesome. So you talk about journaling, and there's a lot of different ways to journal in the world, right? Like mm -hmm. tons of them. But you have a different way of doing it, one that you created yourself. Do you recommend mm -hmm. that other people go and create their own style of journaling? Like is that, do you feel like the, the, the magic behind your technique? Um, the simplest way to describe my technique is um, how do I, how would I get started if I was starting from zero? Okay, so my system was, I'll just kind of walk through how I found mine. So there are prompts, there are questions and journaling prompts all over the internet. You can find them on like Etsy even, and you can find them on uh, Reddit. So I would find questions that spoke to me. And they could be as simple as like, how's your day going? <laughs> Something like that. doesn't matter. It could be empty space as well. And you just start putting whatever's happening inside in that container. And so because you're meeting yourself in that container and, and putting whatever's happening inside, you're moving it from the subconscious and placing it in front of you. Already you're meeting yourself. Like already there's love in the space. Already there's access and connection. And that's going to be new to certain sections of you. So for me, having question prompts would be how I started to get to know myself and started to allow whatever shadow spaces were inside of me, haunting me, ruling me, overrunning me, and put them somewhere. And then from there, I noticed my uh, I had this natural inclination ever since I've started doing that to have prompts just enter my awareness. And then I would either write those prompts down like... Um, like, for example, I could have received an activation and then suddenly I feel the question enter, like, how did that benefit you? How did that support you? And then I'll start writing that down. Um, and anyway, so that's kind of how it naturally started as I now have these prompts that start to connect with me and help me to open a container in that moment so that whatever's hidden becomes unhidden and I'm placing it right in front of me. And then I get to progress from there. <laughs>